it out in Hey everyone, Emma here. Uh, so today we have another product that um, appealed to me, basically. I know it's been out for a little while, but this one is called, it is Wana, and it is strawberry lemonade edible, edibles. That's what it comes out to. Uh, so these ones here particularly are a one-to-one -one ratio. So there's five milligrams CBD, five milligrams of THC per, per square, and then there's two squares, so for a total of 10 milligrams of each. Um, it is a, quite a common ratio, especially in edibles. A lot of people want to use them or get the benefits of them while them tasting good, which is pretty much what we're doing here today. Um, I had a sweet tooth today, so I figured let's get a little sour edibles in there and go from there. So we'll review it together here. Um, in itself, the packaging, nothing spectacular. Normal edible packaging. Uh, we will open it. If I cannot get into the child protection, I have scissors to help me out. Um, so there was a little rip tab to help guide the rip off, but there is like no room to actually open this. I don't see a tab, so I will simply just cut it open. So inside we have the two little edibles. They're looking adorable. And they are just two little squares that you can see. Oh, there you go. Mm, you can kind of see that they are um, shiny, like normal sour candies would be, basically. Uh, fun thing about these ones is that they are all natural. They are vegan, so there is no gelatin inside of them, and they are gluten free as well. So it does. It does cater to a wide range of uh, demographics of people that could be able to enjoy them for sure. Uh, they smell amazing. They smell like strawberry lemonade candy wood, which is super, super exciting. Um, and yeah, so I'm ready to taste it. Um, last thing, it is a sativa dominant strawberry lemonade. You would kind of hope that it's exciting and summery. Uh, so it is sativa dominant, so I'm expecting uh, to feel good, to feel happy. Uh, energetic, social, so we'll really see what kind of comes out of this gummy very shortly here. So these are amazing. Um, they are supposed to not taste like any cannabis inside of them. They do not taste like anything. They taste like the candy I would buy at the store, which is great. The flavors are really, really on point. Um, the texture was really good as well in the mouth. It didn't feel odd or weird just because there's no gelatin. Sometimes you think it's going to feel weird. Nope, the pectin does a good job of containing and having a little mushy feel. So there is a little bit of give when you do squish them, which is nice. So really good mouthfeel overall. I'll eat the second one now. And this is good as the first one. Um, if the high is good on these guys, I am telling you, these will be my new favorite candies because, oh my god, the taste um, is really good. I've had other gummies. Sometimes there's a little bit of aftertaste of cannabis or weed taste that we know or smell, really, when, uh, when eating them. But these ones, there was nothing. There was no hint of maybe tasting like cannabis. If I gave this to anyone, they would not know that it's weed candy. So... Really good plus for those who don't want to have that taste for sure. Uh, otherwise, what we're going to do now is I am going to wait about an hour, come back, and see how we're feeling because we got to let these babies take effect. It could take up to, depending on the person, 30 minutes to an hour before you feel the full effect. So we'll let that time to simmer, let that time to basically do its thing and come back hopefully very chill and relaxed. So see you guys very soon. Hey, so it has been an hour since I took both gummies, so 10 milligrams of THC, 10 milligrams of CBD. Uh, in terms of high, I certainly feel it more on the top of my head or the front of my head, but it's very mild, especially compared to other edibles I've done or um, about the equivalent of THC. Uh, for example, prior video, I was talking about the Tea God dissolvable powder, uh, Ripple. That one got me way higher or way more feeling the effects of the THC within it. So it may have just been a potency thing or something like that. Uh, but at least here, like I, I feel high, 
but it's like that slow buzz you get at the start, like barely anything. Um, like this dose, I could be at work and no one would ever know, period. Um, so a little disappointed on that front that it did not give me a better high than I than that, just because the taste was so good. I was really expecting amazing taste, amazing high. Um, so well, I'll keep, I'll probably buy more uh, to give it another shot, see how it does go. But for now, uh, it's not going to go into my favorites to where I just buy a lot and st stockpile if it ever goes on sale. It's going to be one of those where I just casually enjoy it or someone looking for a nice easy high, I would certainly recommend that. Um, as a sativa, I don't feel like that it's more social or more uh, engaging or energetic. Uh, it, it's very meh. So. Uh, Easy one for people to get into for sure if you're looking at somewhere to start. Great place to start. Kind of get the feeling of it. Um, get something that tastes good as well and kind of go from there. Otherwise, I hope uh, that you guys have a good day. And if you have any ideas, recommendations, certainly let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, have a good rest of your day. Bye!